الله الرحمن الرحيم الف لام م تلك آيات الكتاب الحكيم هدى ورحمة للمحسنين الذين يقيمون الصلاة ويؤتون الزكاة وهم بالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي The beginning of Surah Luqman is very similar to the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah. Many of you might have recalled. There we have Alif Lam Mim Zalik Al-Kitab Al-Aray Bafih Hudal Lil Muttaqeen. Here we have Alif Lam Mim Tilka Ayat Al-Kitab Al-Hakim. These are the ayat or the revelations of a book which is wise, full of wisdom. خُدَمْ وَرَحْمَةً لِلْمُحْسِنِينَ It is a guidance, and not only a guidance, but a mercy, but for those who attain to the level of excellence about their religion. In Surah Al-Baqarah it is Muttaqeen. That's the starting point. خُدَمْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ It is a guidance for Muttaqeen, but now it is Muhsineen. Those who have attained excellence in this deed, for them it is rahmah. Hudam wa rahmatan lil mursaleen, al-ladina yuqimun al-salat wa yutun al-zakat wa bil akhirati hum yuqinun. Who establish the prayers and they pay the zakah, and they are absolutely convinced of hereafter. Here actually the word yakin is used. You can own. They are fully convinced that another life we shall have and we shall be resurrected from the dead and then the life of the Akhira, that is the real life. As we read in Surah Al-Ankabut, وَإِنَّ دَارَ الْآخِرَةَ لَهِيَ الْحَيَا وَعَلَّوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ Actually, the house of Akhira is the real life only if they had known. أُولَائِكَ عَلَىٰ هُدَمْ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ These words are exactly the same as we find in Surah Al-Baqarah. They are the people who are on guidance of their Lord and they are those who will attain salvation and prosperity and success. وَمِنَ النَّاسَ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي لَهُ الْحَدِيثِ And from people there are some who go and buy frivolous discourses. I will explain it, what it means. لِيُضُلَّ عَنْ سَوِيلِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلِيمِ So that he leads astray people from the way of Allah, from the path of Allah without knowledge. وَيَتَّخِذَهَا هُزُوَا And they take this, that is Qur'an, the ayat which are being revealed to Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم in a mockery. أُولَائِكَ لَهُمْ عَزَابٌ مُحِينٌ those are the people for whom there is going to be humiliating chastisement. Now this has been the practice of the evildoers in all times. Keep the common people busy in such things that they don't listen to something which is serious. They don't have a time to ponder over serious things. Keep them busy. Either, you know, in playing, singing. So there was a person, Nazr ibn Haris, who was amongst the very staunch enemies of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he saw that the people of Quraysh at Mecca, they are attracted by Quran. They go to listen Quran from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To distract them from that, he brought a singing girl from Persia. And the stories of ancient Persian history. And he said, read these things. Don't pay attention to what Muhammad is saying. These stories are much better than what Muhammad is relating. And go and listen to this singing girl. You will enjoy. Why do you go and listen to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? And in this our present age and civilization, these games, they have been designed by Satan to keep people busy. Either you work hard for earning or you are just enjoying life and busy in the external world. You never have an opportunity 
to beat down your own hearts, to search your own souls, to think about who we are, where we are, where we are heading, what is going to be the end, what is happening, why it is happening. Are we having humiliation in this world? If it is so, why? What are the reasons? Never think about it. Be, eat, and drink, and be merry. Or, if you have some spare time, well, keep attached to the television, or watching the baseball game, and so forth and so forth. So these are the tactics of those people who want that the message of Allah should not spread among the masses. And when our ayat are decided to him, he turns away in arrogance. Kalam Yasmaha, as if he had not even listened to them. Kanafi Ozunehi Bakra, as if there is some heaviness in his head, in his ears. So, Bashir Hubi Azabin Alim, so, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, give him the glad tidings of a painful chastisement. Now, this is a taunting attitude. Glad tidings, not warning. But you know, for them, the glad tidings are those of painful chastisement. In the Ladin Amanu Amir Salihat, Lahum Jannat Naim. As for those who come to believe and do good deeds, for them there will be the gardens of bliss. Khalidin Afiha, they will abide there forever. Wadan Alayhiyatan, this is a promise true on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mahuwa Azizur Hakim, and He is Almighty and All Wise. Khalaka Samawati Mighari Amadin Tarawnaha. He has created the heavens without any pillars that might be visible to you. Walka fil ardi ravasiya. And he has fixed mountains on the earth. And tabida bekum. So that it should not shake with you. Babas safiya bin kulle dabba. And he has scattered and spread in this earth all types of animals. Manzarna min asamai ma. And we send down water from heaven. فَعَبَّتْنَا فِيهَا بِنْ كُلِّ ذَوْجِمْ بَحِقْرِيمٍ And then we cause to grow therein of every noble kind of growth. هَذَا خَلْقُ اللَّهِ This is all creation of Allah. فَأَرُونِي مَاذَا خَلَقَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ دُونَ هِ Now let me see what those other gods have created whom you think that they are also associated with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. بَلِ الظَّالِمُونَ فِي ذَلَالِمْ بَعِيدْ نَيْ These evil doers are in a very clear error. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةِ This second section, it mentions Hazrat Luqman. Who was he? Two things are clear. He was neither a prophet of Allah, nor he was from the ummah of any prophet or messenger. He was a simple person. As you know, the traditions go, he belonged to Nubia. Nubia is a place, desert, between border of Sudan and Egypt, somewhere in between the two. He belonged to this Nubia place and he was dark colored, Abyssinian type of people. And he lived in Makkah and he was a carpenter by profession. But he was a wise man. Now what is wisdom actually? It is composed of two things because this section is included in our Selected course of study of Quran. It's number lesson number three. So this is very important because the basis of Quranic philosophy, those articles are contained in this section of this surah. What is hikmah? وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةَ أَنِشْكُ لِلَّهِ And we have granted wisdom to Luqman that be thankful to Allah. وَمَنْ يَشْكُرْ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرْ لِلْنَفْسِهِ And whosoever is grateful and thankful to Allah, he does it for his own gains. وَمَنْ كَفَرَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهُ غَنِيُّ الْحَمِيدُ And whosoever is ungrateful, Allah is self-sufficient. He doesn't need any thankfulness or some reward from any person. And he is praiseworthy. Now two things we have to keep. One is the nature in us. And what is that nature? Actually, it's the ruh that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has grown unto us. This nature, this ruh, it has the dormant consciousness of Allah and love of Allah. It is there, ingrained in this, in this nature of human 
human beings. Because every human being has a ruh in him. But then there is another thing, and that's the faculty of reasoning, which we call apple, the intellect. Now, if the two conditions are fulfilled, a person's nature is safe, sound, healthy, not perverted, and his intellect is also working in the correct direction, then he will reach, he will think over, who am I, what is this universe? Has it been created by itself or someone has created? If someone has created, who is he? What are his attributes? How can I love him? How can I worship him? And what is going to be the end of my life? I eat, drink, live and then die, that's all. Or there is going to be some result of what I am doing here. If I do something good, Shall I get any reward anywhere? If I do something wrong, shall, am I going to be punished somewhere else? Now these are the basic questions. Basic questions of philosophy, of metaphysics. So if a person, he might not be very much learned and you know, he might not have a couple of PhDs with him, but if his nature is safe and sound and his intellect works in the right direction, he will reach certain results. And what are those results? They are given here. When Lukman was dying, you know, he transferred the result of the fruit of all his thoughtfulness over the whole of his life to his son. The sermon to his son, you know, that has been mentioned here by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this person, Lukman, was very well known in Arabia. Just as we quote in our speeches, Allama Iqbal, he said so. He said so. In the same way, the khutaba, the orators, and the shuara, the poets of Arabia used to quote him as a very wise person. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is here giving the person to whom you accept that he was a wise man, well actually his position was this, that we are telling you. And this is the same fundamentally to which Muhammad is calling you, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُقْبَانُ الْحِكْمَةَ عَنِشْكُ لِلَّهِ The result of hikmah is that we should be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The nature, if it is correct, it is safe, it is sound, it is healthy, it demands that if somebody does any good to you, you must be thankful to him. If you are thankless, your nature is perverted. But who is the real benefactor? How do we know? This, this material world, the sun, the moon, no, no, someone else, someone who has created the sun and moon. So we should be thankful to him. Just as Ibrahim said, Inni hanifa wa ma'ana min al I reject the stars, the moon, the sun, and I have turned my face towards in the direction of, of, of that who has created these heavens and earth. Why is Qala Luqmanul Ibn here? The call when the Qad said to his son, Bahuwa Yaizuhu. And he was exhorting him. Ya Bunaya Latu Shikbillah. Now the first result of this wisdom and thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be not to make any one or anything an associator with him. La to Shrikbillah. He is alone, he is one. He has no partner, no equal, no associate. In the shirk al azimun azim, verily associating something or someone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a very big injustice. Now, in between the advices and sermons of Luqman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is adding, because he has said to his son, you should be thankful to Allah, and you should not associate anyone with him. Now Allah is saying, وَوَسَّنَ الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ And we have enjoined upon human being that he should be kind to his parents. This is also parents have a right. Your creator is Allah, but who bore you in this world is your mother. And who cared for you, for your needs, when you were a child, are your parents. So you have to be thankful to me, number one. I am the creator. I have put this love and affection in the hearts of the parents for you. 
But then you should be thankful to your parents also. And we enjoined upon man concerning the, his parents. His mother bears him despite weakness upon weakness. And his weaning is in two years. Now what we have said, give thanks to me, Anishkur li wale wale dek. Be thankful to me, grateful to me. I am the creator and I have put this affection and love in the, in the hearts of the parents. But now actually that affection has come to you through your parents, so should, you should be thankful to your parents also. Ilayy al masir in the end, all of you will be returning to us. The same thing which we have read already in Surah Al-Kabut. But if the parents pressurize you, they strive against you and pressurize you that you associate with me anything or anyone about whom who have you no knowledge, fala to Then you don't obey both of them. Disobey them. But even then, you should keep an honorable company with them and gentle company with them in this world. And you should take to the path and follow the path of that person who has turned towards me. You don't follow your parents. Be kind to them, respectful to them. This is their right. But follow if they are on the right path. Okay? This is Nurun Ala Nur. If your parents are on the right path, this is Nurun Ala Nur, light upon light. But if they are on the wrong path, they are not to be followed. You have to follow the one who has turned his face towards me. Summa ilayya marjyokum. Then all of them will have to, all of you have, will have to return to me. Faurabbeokum bima kuntum ta'amalun. And then I will tell you what you had been doing. Ya bunnaya innaha intakum iskala habbatin. Now again, the sermon of Hazrat Luqman starts. Oh my son, little son. Innaha, if it is, what does it mean? If a good deed or a bad deed. If it is in tako miskala habbatin min khadalin. If it is of a weight of a grain of mustard seed. Very small. Human deeds, they might be very small, good or bad. However small they might be. Fatakun fi sakhratin. Or though they may be in some rock of a samawat, or in the heavens, of a lard, or in the earth, Allah will bring it, Ya Tebih Allah. All deeds will be brought on the Day of Judgment, and you will have it. Well, we have it in the last para. Misqala zarratin khayran yara. Faman yamal misqala zarratin khayran yara. Faman yamal misqala zarratin shabran yara. If you have done, even you know, equal to the weight of zarra, an atom, you will see it. Inna Allah latifun khabir. Verily Allah is very subtle and aware of everything. Ya bunayya, oh my son, aqim is salah, establish the prayer. When you have come to know Allah, He is the creator, He is the sustainer, now you establish a psychological relationship with Him through salah. Go on, addressing Him, praying Him, five prayers a day. Why? So that you remember. Akimi Salat al Zikri, we have read it in Surah in Surah Tutaha. Akimi Salat al Zikri, for my remembrance. Ba Akimi Salat wa Amur bil Maruf, and then join upon others whatever is good. One hard il Munkar, and forbid them from whatever is evil. Wasbir ala ma sabak, and then you have to bear with patience and perseverance whatever comes on you, because when you will enjoin people to do good. Maybe some people are angry with you. When you stop people from doing something bad, maybe they beat you, they come on you, they attack you. So all these things can happen. Because truth is bitter. Nobody is going to like this. So then you have to bear with forbearance and patience whatever comes to you. In Nadalika Minas Binamur, verily these are the matters requiring strong character. Only a person who has a strong character can do these things. And don't turn your cheek away from the people haughtily. Don't walk on the earth in a boastful manner, haughtily. 
Verily, Allah doesn't love anyone who is arrogant and boastful. Waqsid fi mashyit. And be modest in your way, gait and walking. Waqdud min sautik. And lower your voice. Inna ankar al aswat ila sautul habib. Definitely, the most unpleasant voice is the braying of the donkeys. Alam tara anna Allah sakhara lakum maafis sabawat ila maafil lawz. Don't you see? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has subjected to you and to your service whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. And He has perfected upon you His blessings, whether they are visible or invisible. And there are people who argue about Allah and fight about Allah and argue against Allah, although they have no knowledge. Wala hudan, no guidance, wala kitab in manuir, nor any book which is bright and illuminating. Wa iza qeeda lahum utabi'u ba'adur Allah. And when you said to them, we should follow what Allah has sent down. Ta'alu wal na tabi'u ma'a wajadna alayhi abana. They said, no, no. We shall follow on what we have found our forefathers. But for their practice, we shall continue. Awa law kana shaitanu yadu'u min aadha bi sayyid. What? Will they keep on following their forefathers? Although it, it is possible, it might be, that the Satan had been calling them to the chastisement of the blazing fire. And whosoever surrenders and submits his will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he has attained excellence, So now he has his hand on the firm handle, and hold. And definitely the end of all the affairs is with Allah. He will decide. Waman kafara fala yahzun ka kufru. Whosoever disbelieves, so O Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, don't grieve over it. Ilana marjeohum. They have to come to us. Fanunabeohum bima amilu. We shall tell them what they had been doing. And we shall recompense them. We shall reward them. We shall punish them. In Allah alimu midati sudur. Verily Allah knows what is in the chests of the people. Numatayum kalilan. We are providing him, providing them for this life. But what is this life? A few days, few years. That's all. Numatayum kalilan. Subha nastaruhum ila azabil khalis. And then we shall harshly, and we shall drive them, push them towards the harsh chastisement. And if you ask them, who has created the heavens and the earth, they will surely say, Allah. Say, then praise, all praise is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But most of them don't know. Lillahi maafi samawati wal To Allah belongs whatever is there in the heavens and the earth. In Allah huwa al ghaniyul hameed. Allah is free from all needs. He is absolutely self-sufficient. And he is the praiseworthy. Now this subject has already come first in Surah Kahf. This ayah in the end of Surah Kahf. This subject is being repeated here. And if all the trees on this earth become pens. And the ocean, and to it are added seven more oceans, and they work as ink. The words of Allah will not be exhausted. And I had explained at that time, what does it mean? Every creation of Allah is the result of his word, kun. So all the creations, they are words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When he decides something to create something, it says kun, and it becomes. So these are the words of Allah. So by the words of Allah, it is meant here is the creations of Allah. You can't count them, you can't write them. Impossible. Ma kalqukum wa la baasukum illa ka nafsin wahida. Your creation of all of you and your resurrection of all of you 
is nothing but like the creation and resurrection of a single soul. It's so easy for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He can create you and recreate you. Then, and it is for him as easy as creating one human soul. In the last Samyun Basir, verily Allah is all listening and all seeing. Alam tara anna Allah yuleju layla fin nahar. Don't you see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala merges the night into the day. Wa yinuja nahara fil lay. And sometimes he is merging the day into night. Wa sakhara shamsa wal qamar. And he has subjected the sun and the moon for your service. Kullu in yajri ila ajali musamma. Every one of these is running its course for an appointed period of time. Wa anna Allah bima ta'amaluna khabir. And that whatever you are doing, Allah very well knows it. Zalika bihan Allah wal haq. And this is because Allah is the truth, the whole truth. He is the truth. Huwa al haq wa anna ma yaduna min dune hil baatil. And whomsoever they are calling besides him, they are just falsehood and nothing else. Wa anna Allah huwa al aliyyul kabeer. And that Allah is the one who is who is great, and Allah is the Aliyyul Kameer, high and great. Alam tara anna al-fulka tajri fil bahari bi bilimatillahi. Don't you see that the boats and ships, they they sail in this in the sea or or in the rivers bi nimatillahi with the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa taala. The yurakum min ayatay so that He shows you some of His signs. Inna fi zalika la ayatin li kulli sabbar and shakur. Verily, in this are signs for those who are persevering and grateful ones. Why is that? Ashiya hum maudun ka zulale. But when they are in sea or ocean, and when a wave covers them like clouds, it's a very high wave is coming, just as the clouds, you know. Daawul la mukhlisina la hudin. At that time, they call upon Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, promising Him their total obedience. Mukhlisina la hudin. We shall obey you, O Allah, and none else. Please, please deliver us from this affliction which is coming. Falamma na jau min al bar, and when Allah delivers them to the land, from in whom muktasid, there are among them that start some in between. They worship us also and others also, and they take the middle road. Wama yaj hadu be ayat na illa kulo khattar in kafur and. Our ayat are not rejected, except from those who are unfaithful and ungrateful. Ya yuhanna sutaku rabbakum, O mankind, have fear of Allah, your Lord. Waqshau yaman, and keep fearing that day. La yajzi walidun an waladhi, when the father will be of no avail for his son. Wala maludun kuwa jadun an waladhi shaya. Nor the son would be of any avail to his father. In the word of Allah, I have to. Everyone will have to bear his own burden. Everyone will be accountable in his in his individual position. Kullu maatiya yawal kiyate kiyamate farda. We had it in the end of Surah Maryam. In the word of Allah, I have to. This promise of Allah is true. This time is coming. It will come. It is to come. فَلَا تَغُرَّنَكُمْ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا So let not the life of this world deceive you. وَلَا يَغُرَّنَكُمْ بِاللَّهِ الْغَرُورِ And let not that biggest deceit, arc deceit, that is Satan, deceive you by pleading Allah is all forgiving. Now this is one of the very big, you know, ways of deceiving of Satan. He says Allah is forgiving. Okay, go on doing what you are doing. You are eating haram. Okay, go. Allah, Allah is, Allah is forgiving. He will forgive you. So this forgiveness of Allah, Allah is forgiving, but Allah punishes also. He is untekam also, although he is gafur, but he gives you punishment also. So that is, you know, we have to keep in between. We should keep on hoping for the forgiveness of Allah, but keep on at the same time fearing. The chastisement of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Bainal khawf wa raja. We should keep our position in between. 
the fear there should remain but hope that allah might allah may hope allah may forgive us inna allah indahu ilmusaah verily it is only allah with whom is the knowledge of that hour when that hour asaa will come only he knows wa yunadirul ghais and it is he who sends down rain wa yalamu ma fil arham and knows what is in the wombs of the mothers wa ma tadri nafsun bi ayy arzin tamut and nobody knows no soul knows ma ma tadri nafsun ma tak se bo gada what that soul is going to earn tomorrow some good deeds or bad deeds rama tadri nafsun bi ayy arzin tamut and no soul knows in which land it will die inna allaha alimul khabir verily allah is the all knowing all aware turn to allah he's never far away put your trust in him raise your hands and pray oh ya allah guide my steps don't let me go astray you're the only one who can show me the way show Inshallah, Inshallah.